Welcome to Malaysia. I am Travel Tom Tom and I just landed here at Kuala Lumpur International Airport. And in this video, I'm going to show you everything you need to know for buying a prepaid SIM card for Malaysia here when you arrive at Kuala Lumpur Airport. All arriving passengers come down these escalators and then you get to immigration there for your passport control. But before that, there's already places where you can buy a SIM card from Malaysia. And there are three different places to connect. It's called one is called Hotlink, one is Tune Talk from Travel or Sim, and one is called Digi. Here at Tune Talk, this is Travel or Sim. It's a SIM card that actually operates on the Cellcom network. You get 15 gigabyte already for 30 ringgit. Talking about just over six US dollars. Another package for around 11 dollars will give you 35 gigabytes already. So yeah, check the first place and uh, SIM cards for Malaysia are actually pretty cheap. This is Hotlink and Hotlink has a package for 35, which is about $7, 55 and 65. It's for seven days at least. They have a small package for just a week and the rest is for 30 days. But what kind of is disappointing is that they have differences in speed. So if you pick the cheapest one, you actually also get the lowest internet speed. And this shows it very well because this is the most expensive package. It costs 75, which is about uh, 16, 17 US dollars. And this has an internet speed of 18 MBS. That means it's six times faster than the three MBS of the cheapest package. Yeah, personally, I am already not so much a fan of Hotlink because I don't like reduced internet speed. I always want the fastest speed. And here at Hotlink, that is simply also the most expensive package. So I just went back here at Tune Talk Traveler Sim and I asked, what does high speed internet mean? And he's like, yeah, that's 30 MBS per second. So I'm saying that right, actually, MBPS, something like that. But yeah, 30 is 10 times faster than the cheapest one they offer at Hotlink. Here at Digi, they give you for 50 ringgits, which is about $11, 30 gigabyte of high-speed internet. And they actually asked, it's also 30 Mbps. That's the same as TuneTalk Traveler Sim. So fast internet uh, for 30 gigabytes, $11. My conclusion for buying a prepaid SIM card here at Kuala Lumpur Airport was actually very simple. We have TuneTalk, they operate on the Cellcom network. Well, on my article, on my website, you can actually find that Travel Tom Tom. I recommend a Cellcom prepaid SIM because they have the best 4G, 5G network coverage in Malaysia. And since I'm only staying for a couple of days, they have a great package. It's only 30, so it's just over $6 and 15 gigabytes just for like four days here in Malaysia. That's more than enough. There's just one problem. They don't accept credit card payments, only cash. That kind of sucks. Uh, these guys there, they accept credit card. These guys there accept credit cards as well. Uh, so yeah, that's a bit of a bummer. The good thing is all these shops are open 24 seven. That doesn't matter what time you arrive here at Kuala Lumpur Airport, you're able to buy prepaid SIM cards for your trip to Malaysia. And another advantage I found out is it's too busy here. You can actually go through customs and then in the arrival hall there should also be shops for buying a prepaid sim card so i'm gonna wing it i didn't buy a prepaid sim card yet because i actually want the tune talk traveler sim card for 30 ringgit with 15 gigabyte for 30 days but yeah that's not available so first let's get my passport stamp pick up my luggage and then buy a sim card i got my passport stamp into malaysia and this is my suitcase this is what it looks like when you walk out and when you walk out and you walk to the left i can already see a lot of uh, sim card shops there here we have U mobile that's a new one we didn't have at uh, the passport control yet and this is tune shock again and there's hotlink again and this is U mobile uh, they have this is the best package they have i mean this is the 45 ringgit which means like 10 us dollars uh, but the fastest internet speed here is 6 Mbps. That means it's five times slower than the other ones who are 30 Mbps. Uh, so, yeah, U-Mobile is not that much recommended. For me, making this video about buying a prepaid SIM card here at Kuala Lumpur, it sucks that they have different prices here than they have before passport control. For you, it's a good thing because the packages uh, for the prepaid SIM cards from Malaysia are slightly cheaper here than before passport control. Yeah, here we have a weekly package here from Hotlink. Uh, it's only 22 ringgit, which literally means a little like uh, four and a half dollars. 
Uh, the problem is it's only 3 Mbps, so it's like 10 times slower than what is high-speed internet. Uh, with high-speed internet here, it's 40 ringgit, which means about eight, nine dollars. And you get 20 gigabyte for a whole month. Yeah, my conclusion for buying a prepaid SIM card here at Kuala Lumpur Airport for your trip to Malaysia is very easy. Uh, U-Mobile has a pretty slow internet speed, so that's the one I don't recommend. Then there's Maxi's Hotlink. Uh, if you buy the more expensive package, I mean, when you invest $2 more, you have high-speed internet as well, like 30 uh, Mbps. Uh, and then there's TuneTalk, and TuneTalk is the one that I actually recommend buying because uh, for high-speed internet, uh, you get 15 gigabytes for just a little over uh, $5. So that's a great offer. It's actually the best uh, prepaid SIM card offer they have here at the Kuala Lumpur Airport. So what did I bought? I bought Hotlink. I bought that one. And why is that, you must think? Well, it's a very simple reason. Here at TuneTalk, they only accept cash. Well, TuneTalk, I'm really sorry. I just arrived, I don't have cash, and I just prefer to pay by credit cards. It kind of sucks because I want to recommend you something that is, I think, the best product, but you can't buy it without a credit card. Well, it gives it a funny end to the video because, yeah, that's it. <laughs> I'm just resting me one thing and that's asking you to like this video just for my effort of showing you what's the best prepaid SIM card you can buy here at Kuala Lumpur Airport for your trip to Malaysia. And then after I bought my SIM card and actually walked to the other side, of the arrivals hall there's on the right side there's blue cube and that's actually a cellcom sim cards they sell yeah, and they have high speed internet for 35 ringgits which is like eight dollars uh, 30 gigabytes kind of the same offer uh, same high speed internet uh, and i was like oh shit i should have bought maybe a sim card here but then i learned also here it's cash only and I found this SIM card store because I was just walking around to find you the best way to get from Kuala Lumpur Airport into the city center. Yeah, this is KLIA Express. That's an express train that goes straight into the city every 20 minutes. But the price is about 70 ringgit, it's like $12. And a Grab or an Uber, basically Grab is the Uber of Malaysia. It costs about the same price to my hotel, which is also in the city center. So for me, it's a very easy choice. I'm just gonna take a grab.